is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. Finally, I'm back. I got week two of the Vanderbilt Dynasty coming out. Finally, I know. Uh, it's been a while. Got caught up in school. Here are your players of the week and everything. I'm just gonna kind of talk over this. Okay, and just enjoy the visuals while they happen. Uh, so, once again, sorry. <laughs> it's college. I don't follow UConn or Vanderbilt. So if I mispronounce any of these people's names, I apologize ahead of time. Just leave me a comment nicely. And I'll try my best to fix it. Um, other than that, uh, let's kick it off. Connecticut traveling to Knoxville, Tennessee to play Vanderbilt. Uh, should be a fun game as Vanderbilt tries to start off the season 2-0. and And make it to a bowl game just like they did in real life. But try to do it in the virtual scene as well with Coach Laxrox Topher at the helm. But uh, other than that, uh, sorry I had to... Quit recording and try and start up where I was, so I'm just going to be honest with that and not try to make it smooth at all. But here come the Commodores, Commodores, ah, oh, God, I really got to learn this team. Week 3 will be much better than week uh, two, 1 and 2. I'll actually do some research on Vanderbilt and my opponents, so it'll be a little smoother. But let's just kick it off, right? The game play. Connecticut gets the ball first. They'll hand off the shoemate who gave a nice old carry up the middle. But it will lead to 3rd and 6 where they will not convert. And they'll give the ball to Vanderbilt. 3rd and 2, Carter Samuels will roll out to the right. He'll take it, tuck it, and run. Pick up the first down with his feet. Making some plays. Carter Samuels out of the pistol. Looks, looks, finds his wideout on a nice snag on the right sideline. Putting them in Connecticut territory. But this time he'll overthrow his wideout on 3rd and 10. Giving the ball back to Connecticut who McEntee almost throws an interception here. They punt. No, they don't. They fake the punt. Almost picked off again. They'll get the ball to Vanderbilt in great territory. Too bad Carter Samuels will be sacked. And it will lead to this field goal attempt, which will fall short. And they'll give the ball to UConn and some pretty good care territory. Shoemate, big carry up the middle as he drags some defenders into Vanderbilt territory. Second and five, McEntee. Rolling, use it. He says, I'll pick up first down with my feet, too. In the red zone now, third and six. Wide out, just can't hold it. It'll lead to this field goal attempt. It was so close to being blocked. Let's take a closer look. I don't know how 36 missed it. It went right through his hands, but kicker will get some love as he just put UConn on the board first. 3 0 here in Knoxville. Carter Samuels rolls out, tipped, almost picked off by the linebacker. That would could have been ugly. And then a pick six for UConn. But he'll make up first. He finds Durna, Durham over the middle, almost in the Connecticut territory later on the drive. Carter Samuels, fourth and three. Hits Zach Stacy, who the tackler just misses, and he'll pick up the first down. Going for it on fourth and five now, later in the drive. Carter Samuels. He'll take it up the middle, and he'll get in about the 23-yard line with under 10 seconds left to go. Nine seconds. He throws a pick to the DB for Connecticut. Mac. he'll almost take it, but Uma will catch him, and that will be the end of the first half. But the beginning of the second half doesn't start out well for Vanderbilt. It's Car Samuel sacked, but the lineman falls on it, keeping the ball in Vanderbilt's hands. Second to 16. Carter Samuels rolls deep, overthrows Umo, which will lead or get the ball to Connecticut. Connecticut, third and eight. Can't do anything with it. They give the ball to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's the own respectable third and eight. They get sacked. Can't do anything with it. But Vanderbilt will get the ball back later as Connecticut also can't do anything with it. First and 10, Vanderbilt. He'll hit Umo on the curl. Second and four, Vanderbilt. St Zach Stacy breaks a tackle. He'll pick up the first down. Second and 10 now, Carter Samuels. Draw to Norman, the back running back, who will pick up a nice first down. And Zach Stacy will pick up a nice first down as well. And then Carter Samuels decides he wants one for his own, as he'll tuck this one up the middle and pick up a nice 10 yard scramble of his own until he fumbled. And Agbor picks it up for Connecticut. Not good as they turned it over for the second time in the red zone. But it won't hurt them as Hayward will pick off the first pass of Connecticut's next series, taking it for a pick six after breaking a tackle. Now second and two, McEntee shrugs off a tackle, tucks it, gets the first down as he slides. First and ten, McEntee rolls out to his left, throws against his body. You never throw against your body as Foster will pick off it as McEntee was just poor play calling. That will be two pick six, putting Vanderbilt up 
14 to 3. Vanderbilt finally got some life here in the fourth quarter. Took them long enough to go in, but they give up a big pass here. Ladler misses that tackle, but he'll come back around and get it. Very unorthodox play coming in from the sideline after missing it to make the tackle, but it works. Shoemate up the middle, gets down to about the one second and goal. They'll hand it off to the big old McReynolds. He'll score the touchdown there. And then on the two-point conversion, a little toss to Shoemate. And now, you know, what do you know? It's a three-point game, 14-11. Vanderbilt, Zach Stacy on the screen. He has some green in front of him. He will be tackled inside the 10-yard line. Vanderbilt looking to maybe put the nail in the coffin here. Second and six from the five. Under a minute to play. Norman, the backup running back, catches the pass on the backfield to the left, putting... Vanderbilt up by 10, 4th and 10, they can't do anything with it, Vanderbilt will have a nice 4th quarter comeback, putting up 21 points in the 4th quarter to top Connecticut, 21-11, Zach Stacy, your player of the game, not outstanding numbers, but the way he played is definitely why he got that play of the game, we go to Hayward with that first pick 6, great game for Vanderbilt as they jump up 2-0 on this season, Week 3 will be coming out soon. Here are your stats. Carter Samuels played really well. McIntyre, those two interceptions really brought down his ratings. All in all, a pretty good game for Vanderbilt. As you can see, here's the rushing statistics to each person. Shoemate had a hell of a game. Here are your players of the week for that last week played. Ole Miss got both of them for the SEC, who ironically is our next opponent. Make sure you follow me on Twitter so you know when week three is coming out. Twitter.com backslash LaxRocksTofer. Search LaxRocksTofer on Facebook so you can know when everything's coming out. Comment this video, thumbs up this video so it gets more shared along the network. Subscribe to my channel because I love you. And most importantly, never forget to keep gaming.